All right, so welcome back to another edition of Beyond the Stack. In today's video, I'm going to be putting together the video you saw yesterday. Uh, just the video about splitting red oak. If I think of it, I'll put a link up here, wherever it goes. If not, uh, go back to the channel page and the video from yesterday, the video before this. This is the process that I went through to put that video together. Um, in the past, I did a video of like showing uh, the camera work behind the scenes, and some of you have asked for seeing a little bit of the editing behind the scenes of what goes into putting a video together. Um, this is not like a how-to or a course or anything on video editing. Uh, I do have a degree in visual communications. I have done quite a bit of editing uh, with videos and such in the past for previous jobs, but this is not, like I said, this is not a, a course on how to do it. This is just a uh, showing you an insight into how I do it. And the one thing when I edit and put videos together, I do try to keep it as simple as possible. So with that, let's dive on in and get over to uh, the program I use is Final Cut Pro. So here we are in Final Cut. Um, and like I said, this is the software that I use. It, this, it's not something that you have to use. Um, there's other programs out there um, on a Mac. There's iMovie that you can use. There's programs on your phone, apps that you can use. But I have Final Cut Pro, so this is the program I'm going to be using. Um, so the one thing you can see over here, I've got all my clips that I imported from my phone. Um, and the one thing I do when I when I shoot um, footage is I try to kind of like lay out chronologically, you know, I do this scene, I move on to the next thing, I move on to the next thing. So it's all kind of in order when I go to put it together. So the first thing, clip 7330 right here, I'll bring that down to my timeline. And then I know that 7331 is going to be the next clip that I need. I mean, that's kind of what I do. I kind of like lay out a couple clips at a time. I don't really, um, like I said, I don't, I kind of just build it and recreate um, what I did. So as I'm putting each of these clips in there, I'm just like basically rebuilding and recreating whatever it was I was doing. In this case, in this video, I'm splitting um, some firewood. So, hey, all right, so welcome back, everyone. So right there in the beginning, you can see there was like two or three seconds. Um, where I was just kind of gathering my thoughts. Probably don't need that to be part of the video, so I'm gonna trim that out. Just cut it and make a cut, eliminate that. Um, so now when I go down to where I'm, I have a transition from one clip to the next clip, I'm gonna kind of just watch what I have going on here. I think it'll be pretty cool, something a little different, so check in. So tune in. All right, so you see right there, I kind of lost my train of thought. Wasn't really sure how to wrap up that segment and move into the next. So what I'm going to do then is I'll probably make a cut here. Check in. So that you're watching right now. So I think it'll be pretty cool. Something a little different. So it'll be pretty cool. Something a little different. All right. So right there, as I say something a little different, that's where I'm going to make my cut. And then when I pick it up over here in the next scene. So what we got going on here today? I'm explaining what we got going on. So I'm going to make a cut right there. And then what I'll probably do is I'll probably add like a cross dissolve transition. So let's take a look at that. Right now. So I think it'll be pretty cool. Something a little different. So, so what we got going on here today. I think it'll be pretty cool. Something a little different. So, so what we got going on here today. All right. Not bad, but I don't know if you can hear it very well or not, but I, I end up saying so twice. So what I want to do is let me expand my... And I want to cut that first. Something a little different. A little different. So something a little, little different. Something a little different. All right. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make a slight little trim right there. I think it'll be pretty cool. Something a little different. So what we got going on? There you go. So now it's like flowing together a little nicer. And again, these are just little things that I kind of nitpick apart sometimes, but. Um, so now, once we get into, like, the <clears throat> the one thing that you can do, and I do this sometimes where um, I only shoot with one camera, with just my iPhone, but what I end up doing is I'll make a switch to another scene, and I actually make it look like there's almost two cameras. So in this spot right here, I know that, and here's the other thing, you might not be able to hear it very well um, but when the splitter is running the audio is kind of loud pretty hot 
compared to when I was just talking. So I'm actually going to adjust my audio levels and bring them down a little bit just so that I try to maintain a consistent audio level throughout the whole video. So like if I'm talking and it's kind of soft and you end up turning up the volume and then all of a sudden the splitter's running and it's really loud, you're going to, you know, you're going to have to turn the volume back down. Um, <clears throat> but here what I wanted to do was I wanted to transition from this split and then pick it up uh, from a different camera angle. So right as the wood is starting to go into the wedge right here, I'm going to cut that and then you'll see what I end up doing is I end up leaving the wood right there and then I, I move, come over and get the camera and then here's where I reposition it. So now I've repositioned the camera, but I need to pick it up from right as that wood was going into the into the wedge. So right as it starts to move, right there. So that's where I'm going to cut that. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to take this out. And now if I watch it, So there you go, it kind of makes that transition of one scene to the next. It makes it appear like there's actually two cameras filming. So that's a little trick right there that I often will use. And, I, and I'll show you again, because I got another spot um, that I remember um, thinking about it as I was filming to make it. Um, so here's another camera angle that I, that I switched cameras to. Um, so what I kind of do is I kind of just scan through and look for a spot that's kind of like a, a good transition. Um, uh, maybe right here, right as I bring this round onto the splitter and I lower the wedge. That'll be a good spot to, to trim. Um, and the one thing I do when I when I start putting these videos together, I try I generally try to aim for eight to twelve minutes is like my target, I guess length that I like to make my videos. Um, sometimes they end up a little bit longer, depending on how much and what I'm doing. But you know, for instance, like this clip right here, this is a three minute. Oh wait, this is a this is a shot where I was explaining splitting of why I split that way. Um, but let's go to this clip right here. Um, so for instance, this clip right here, this is an 11 minute uh, segment, an 11 minute clip that I taped. That's you know just basically all one angle overhead shots running the splitter. So this is something I'm probably going to time lapse and speed up. So let me just show you here, for instance, right now this is an 11 minute and 44 second clip. If I speed that up, say, eight times, um, that brings it down to a minute and a half. So that's a little bit better. I still might, because um, I've got this other clip right here that, you know, is a different angle. If I speed that up, that's going to bring that down from three, from four minutes to 30 seconds. So again, kind of working within that whole parameter of my, my aim is right around 10 to 12 minutes maybe, a little less if possible. <clears throat> the one thing um, I always remember in uh, like when working with video and editing stuff down, there's an old saying that it goes um, half long, twice strong. So if you take something and you think it's a good amount of time, but you cut it in half, it might actually be twice as effective. So that's why my mentality is, you know, if, if I have a, me from a, from a viewer, from a, when I go on YouTube and if I have, a, you know, five videos to watch that I want to watch and, you know, one's 30 minutes, two or 25, one's 15 and one's 10, I'm probably going to watch the 10 minute one first. That's just me. So that's from my experience. That's what I do, so that's what I incorporate into my videos. All right, so here's another example of um, like faking that you have two cameras. So in this little scene, um, I'm 
I went to get a drink of water, um, and it's something that I'll probably throw in there just because it's a nice little break from the wood splitting. So you're splitting, you're splitting, you're splitting. Oh, now you just cut to a little scene where you're getting a drink. Just, you know, a little, like I said, a little break in the action. But if you if you see here, so I, I take my drink and I'm walking away from the tractor. And right as I go off the frame, if I cut that scene right there, and then in the next scene, so I'm coming back from setting up the camera, but if I start this scene where I'm walking like I'm just coming back from the tractor, we put that together and see, it looks like I walked from the tractor right over to the splitter. And the cool thing is, is that um, for the viewer, it looks like there's two cameras. Again, just a little transition. Right from the tractor, like I, I finished my drink of water, now I'm going right back to splitting. The one thing I always, I always think about when I go out to make a video is, I'm making the video. It's not that I'm, you know, I'm focused on making the video, not on really getting the task done. So I'm always thinking of ways to incorporate things like this with like making it look like there's multiple cameras or just what I'm doing. Um, you know, some people will go out and get the work done and just capture what they capture and put the video together. I, if I know I'm making a video, I'm not, you know, that's what I'm, my, I'm always thinking about things like this, like, all right, how can I transition from one scene to the next scene? Um, then another little thing I'll show you back here with this one. There's one spot where, um, yeah, so right here, I end up taking and resplitting uh, the splits. And that's what... That's what I end up talking about right here. So I'm going to want to show that. And then after I show that, I'll probably take out the rest of this little spot. And then I can pick up with a new piece explaining how I split what I what you just saw. But yeah, so this is, you know, I'm like I said, I'm not going to show you the whole editing process because yeah, I'll end up probably taking way too long. But yeah, so that's just pretty much the process that I use. I, I lay everything out. I kind of start going through it, seeing where there's things that need to be taken out, seeing where things need to be cut down. Um, and, you know, again, so like this, this angle right here, I switch to this angle from this angle. All right, so now this, I have two minutes and 40 seconds worth of uh, splitting from this angle. That might be a little bit too much, and considering that I'm, you know, right now with all the clips laid out on the screen, there's 23 minutes worth of footage. So I might only, you know, split a few pieces from this angle. And then, you know, after I, after I, let me just, I'll just cut it right there. So I eliminate, you know, a minute 58 seconds. So here I have 40 seconds from one angle, and then I'm going to switch to this angle. Just to kind of keep things moving and flowing. Um, and again, you know, this is just my preference. This is not how you should be doing your videos. This is just the way that I do mine. Um, and in this part here where I talk about why I, how I resplit, I think I go through it twice. But, you know, if you've seen it once and it doesn't make sense, you can just rewind. So... This is the size piece I want. I probably don't need to uh, show this more than once. Those two pieces come out to be the size I want. So like right there, I could probably trim that out. So now I took something, you know, there I can eliminate another minute and a half. So now I'm down to 20 minutes. Again, like I said, I've Gonna have to go through and find a few more things to, to trim up, but overall, that's pretty much like the general uh, the general way I do things. So let me jump back over here now. So maybe you found some value in that. Um, hopefully, it was at least a little entertaining just to see, you know, um, 
laying things out on a timeline, putting stuff together. And again, this, like I said, this is all just personal preference. Some, you know, sometimes it works best to just set the camera up, shoot the video. You don't even need to edit. Just start to finish. One big clip, you're done. Um, I've done that before too. For me, I just find it nice to be able to switch things up and, and kind of give different angles, different perspectives, point of views of what's all happening. So again, there it is. There's a, uh, a little insight into how I kind of put things together. And this whole process will probably end up taking me maybe an hour start to finish. Um, and that includes like rendering it out, um, re-watching it. I do end up watching my video back maybe two to three times just to find little things that might need to be trimmed out to make it, you know, just to fresh or uh, just to polish it up. Just to make sure that uh, what I have put together is makes sense, um, flows together nicely, and is just what I want for my video. So yeah, after I watch it a few times, if I have the time where like I don't need this video to be out right away, I'll maybe save it and then come back and I'll watch it again the next day, just with like a new, fresh set of eyes on it. Uh, so I'll watch it a few times, and like I said, the whole process maybe for a 10 minute video, maybe an hour, a little bit more. Uh, but it really helps to, like I said, have that kind of thought process, plan out what you're gonna do, shoot those clips, bring the clips in, and then just start stacking them up and recreate what happened. Well, you know, re recreate whatever you were doing. So, so again, thanks for watching. Uh, th th this little uh, Beyond the Stack edition was a little bit different. Next time we might be getting into another interview with someone. We'll see what happens. Uh, until then, like I said, thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoyed. So see you next time. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool. Yeah.